Hello, welcome to Lesson 5, Exercise 1. Here we're going to write a program that asks the user uh, how many states are in the United States of America. Uh, if they type in a guess of anything other than the correct answer, which is 50, then we want to ask you to use a nested if statement to tell them uh, if their guess was too low or too high. So this is a great example of when you might actually need to use a nested if statement. So since we're doing keyboard input, we'll import the scanner class there. And then we'll create the scanner object, same as we always have. And then we'll create a variable. Uh, this is going to uh, hold the keyboard input after we read it in from the keyboard. And then we'll print this out to the screen. How many states are in the United States of America? This line here checks to see if there's an integer waiting at the keyboard. And if there is, it'll read it in and it'll assign it to the variable that we've created called guess. So you can see a pattern here. Every time we're reading in, we're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Um, and if we guess uh, exactly equal to 50, then we will print out a statement, you are correct. I'm going to clear my previous little test here. Uh, and uh, we have an else statement. So here's the if. Uh, if it's true, then we print this. Otherwise, we execute this else block, which is encapsulated inside of these curly braces. So all of these will execute. So if we don't type in 50, we'll print out the statement, you're incorrect. And then we also have another if in here. This is the nested if we're talking about because we're nesting it inside of this else bracket, curly brace. If the guess that we've typed in is less than 50, then we will print out you guess too low. There's an else statement here that prints out you guess too high. So basically the way it goes is if we guess correct, we, we jump here, we never execute this else block and we, the program stops. But if we don't guess 50, then this else block executes in its entirety, which prints out a message saying you're incorrect, but then it checks to see if what we typed in was less than 50. And if it is, then it tells them that they guessed too low. Otherwise, it tells them they guessed too high. So there's an if-else pair inside of the else statement. That's a great example of when you might actually need a nested if uh, there. Because if the guess was too low, we'll print this statement out. Um, Otherwise, if it's not too low, then therefore their guess must have been too high because we've already covered the, the case when their guess was exactly correct. So either the guess is too low or too high, and these pair of statements pick up on that. So let's go and run this guy. How many states are in the USA? If we type in 50, then it just says you're correct, and the program stops because if, it's, if this if triggers, then this else block, this giant outer else block, never triggers uh, because it's either one or the other. Let's go ahead and run it again. Uh, if I type in something low, like 15 states, of course that's way too low, then it'll tell me you're incorrect, you guessed too low. So in that case, we jump over this if, we bounce into this else, we print the statement. If the guess is less than 50, then we say we guessed too low. And this else here, in this case, does not execute because, again, if else statements are one or the other. Um, if the if triggers, then you jump over the else. So let's run it again. Let's say we type in 55 states. It tells us you're incorrect. You guessed too high. Again, the else block triggers. We print out the incorrect message here that we've got here. And then if the guess is less than 50, which in this case it's not, we bounce to the else, and the else is what triggers here. So the if statement here, this statement did not trigger because our guess was not less than 50. We typed in 55 there. So it can get confusing when you have lots of nested ifs, lots of nested statements, because you got to go deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole a little bit. But sometimes it's very useful to do that um, because you, you can see it's very robust. No matter what we type in, we're going to cover it with one of these, one or the other of these uh, statements here. So the main thing is know that you can nest if statements inside of other if statements or inside of else statements as long as you're using your curly brace. Now notice that this if statement is a single line if statement. So I just put the, uh, the code to execute right there. Same thing for the else, it was single line. If I had much longer code to execute for this if, I could put a curly braces here to make this bigger. And for the else statement, I could put in internal or inner curly braces if I had more statements to execute there. In this case, it just made more sense to put them on one line since they were so simple. 